Hey everybody, this is Kerry, and just doing a quick tutorial today on how to brighten eyes. So, uh, doing this in Photoshop CS5, but it certainly would work in any any version of Photoshop. Um, there's nothing nothing too radical here. There's no new new tools that we're using, but um, uh, this is a DNG file that was brought in, has been untouched. And uh, we're just going to do a couple quick things to brighten up our eyes just a little bit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is when we bring this file in is I want to work non-destructively. Um, so I want to duplicate this layer. Uh, quickest thing, quickest way to do that is just a uh, Command J on the Mac or Control J on the PC will give you a duplicate layer. So you don't have to. Uh, if you make a mistake, you can just delete that layer instead of uh, ruining your background <clears throat> and so in this first one uh, what I'm going to do very simply is change the blend mode from normal to screen and that's going to really brighten up that image um, and then what we'll do is hide that with a mask so on the mask on the quick mask here uh, if I hold the option key or alt on PC while I press the add a layer mask, it'll put in a black layer mask. Um, if I just click it, it'll put in a white layer mask. But I want to hide all that. Um, so if I, again, uh, option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, <coughs> excuse me, um, we'll make that a black mask. And then we can zoom in to that eye and take a white brush my paint brush is already on white and then just paint back in the whites of the eyes i'm not too worried if i go over in fact let's go ahead and go over there just to show you as an example so if i go over if i go uh, color outside the lines a little bit there what I can do is just bring back my black brush. So I'll just hit the X and we go back to black. And then just come back with the black brush. And just add back the mask where you went over. So very simple to do. All right, so let's go and do the other eye here. Slide over. Um, hit X to go back to the white brush to reveal and we'll just paint in the white and again not worried if I go over just a little bit go back to the black brush and just make sure we are not doing anything too silly there so when you when you brighten the whites um, her, her whites were already pretty bright but there's always a little bit of gray in the whites of people's eyes. This will take it out. Now when I'm in here working this close, you really need to make sure that you back out so you can see what you're doing and how it affects the image and you can see how horrible that looks um, because they're so super bright it looks terribly fake. So when I do this, you're typically looking at, at uh, you know, reducing the opacity on that layer to uh, probably 20 to 25%. Um, it's just a little bit of a brightening of that white and you can see here from before and after so this this is uh, so that's before and after before and after so even somebody who the whites of their eyes are really clean look really white there is some gray in there and that helps eliminate that gray okay um, so the next thing that we're going to do is to brighten up the iris here and what I need to do is to now merge the layer down that has the whites brightened up. Easiest way to do that is uh, I can do on a Mac Shift Option Command E or on a PC Shift Alt Control E. And when I do that, it merges into a new layer that retains those adjustments. So now I have this new layer. And in that layer, I am going to do a layer adjustment and we're going to do an exposure layer adjustment <clears throat> this is a pretty high key image 
I typically go between 1 and 2, plus 1 and 2 on the exposure to do what we want to do here. And I'm just going to go to just maybe just a tiny bit over 1 here because um, it's already a pretty high key image. And, the, and uh, her eyes are kind of light blue. So I don't want to go over the top on this. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do to retain the texture is on the gamma correction, I'm going to drop that to about 0.7. <clears throat> and that will help us retain the texture in the eyes without uh, when we brighten them we won't, we won't lose the texture as well so white mask was put into place I want to hide everything like I did on the last layer and to do that I'm going to just invert that mask I'm going to hit command I that'll invert the mask and I'm going to come back here with a white paintbrush so again, I'm down here on black. I just go X, takes me to white, and then we'll just paint in that little bit of a bump. And same thing as before, if I go outside the lines, then I can very simply come back with a different color brush, different color black brush, and make sure that I clean up where I messed up. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actually second last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to change the blend mode to luminosity. And when I do that, it doesn't boost the color. It doesn't oversaturate the color. It just gives the brightness without saturating the color. So I like to do this in the luminosity blend mode. And then again, I'm going to back that way off because it's going to look really fake. But if I go to about a 50% opacity, that should be just about right. Let's do before and after, before, after. And then I will take these layers of my adjustment here and let's go up to the layer menu and let's create a group from these layers and let's name that as eye bright and then we can see the whole thing in the before and after before and after let me zoom back out so you can see it in context so before after, before, after. It's pretty subtle, but it does make a big difference in your images. I uh, hope you learned something, and uh, check again next week, and we'll see if we can get a new tutorial.